Hey, what's up, it's Jared. Today I'm gonna to talk about the three best methods for task management. We're gonna go through three different methods and talk about how I've utilized them and give you some ideas just so that you could find the best way of managing tasks that works for you. Of course, one of these may work better than others for you specifically, which is why I'm going through three different ones here. And depending on your uh, the way that you like to interact with things, whether it's a pen, a computer, a uh, piece of paper, whatever it is, is. These are the different ways that you can interact with your tasks and, of course, be the most productive person that you can be. Of course, the first one is a paper task list. Uh, now, I remember from my childhood, my grandmother always used to say, if it's not on my list, it isn't happening. She always had a list of things that she needed to get done for the day, whether it be tasks or even if it was something as simple as things that she was going to be doing with us grandkids. It was on the list. Every day she would write it down. If there was somebody's birthday, it would go on the list. It had to be on that list, and she always joked around about, that list being super important. And I think that it was something that was fun to joke about for her, but it was really truth. She had to have a paper task list. And now that I am in my 40s, I am understanding that task lists are super important. Now that could be something as simple as a notepad, a scratch pad where you can tear off a sheet and you just make a little list and you have your list and you go about your day. For something a little bit more involved, you might want a paper notebook, whether it be a small kind of field note style notebook or something a little bit bigger uh, that you might turn into something like a bullet journal. There are a lot of different ways that you can create lists and there are a lot of different methodologies for doing those in the form of some sort of paper or paper book. Um, there are a lot of productivity journals that are out there as well. I've tried a few of them, like the Full Focus Planner. I really liked the Full Focus Planner. The only thing I didn't like about it is that it is the size of a book and I have to remember to take it everywhere with me. But the Full Focus Planner has a really nice method for uh, making sure that you have your goals clearly defined and what those action steps are and everything, uh, calendar, I mean everything that you need in this Full Focus Planner. I, I really do like the process. I just can't, for myself, get wrapped around having to take a book with me everywhere. But the Full Focus Planner is probably the best one that I have ever done, and I've had many of these different guided type of planners. Of course, I mentioned the Bullet Journal. The Bullet Journal is something that you can set up yourself and kind of configure. There's a lot of different ways to Bullet Journal. There's a lot of great tutorials out there. I've even tried to do my own digital form of Bullet Journaling. And so the Bullet Journal, I think the, the methodology there behind it has worked out really well for me, and I did do it in a paper form for a number of years, and then I moved over to using some of what I learned from bullet journaling and what I learned from the full focus planner to kind of create the type of task management system that I want for myself. So the next is a task management app. There are so many of these task management apps, everything from just setting up reminders in your phone or on your computer, to Evernote, which is more like a, uh, like a notebook, but in a digital format, but you can also create tasks and check them off and stuff like that, to something like Todoist, which is a dedicated task and project manager app. There are much more involved ones as well, which we'll talk about in the next section, but task manager apps are really great also. Now, I tend to use Todoist for tasks because I can quickly throw them in there, and it's very easy to just add tasks to Todoist and put them in there and then go and organize them and structure them later. That process used to be very challenging to me because I would either write them down in a book and then not have the book when I needed it, or I would add them to an Evernote note and then not have uh, any form of structure until I went through those and kind of put them out into tasks. So for me, utilizing Todoist means I can just throw a bunch of tasks in my inbox and then structure them and lay them out in the way that I want them later on. Usually I do that at kind of at the end of the day when I start looking at what I want to accomplish for the next day. So task management apps are great. And then there are tools that are more like project manager apps, software solutions like Trello and Asana. These are project managers that can house projects and tasks. Of course, you can do that in some of these task management applications. These project manager applications also make it very easy for you to invite others into the process as well. So if you are working on projects with other people, you can invite them in and share access 
to the projects and assign tasks. And there's lots of ways that you can interact and work as a team within project management tools like Trello and Asana. I've used both of those apps in the past, especially when I had teams that I was working with on a daily basis and project management apps are super powerful. Now, as a solopreneur or a freelancer or just yourself, it might be a little much to use one of those tools. And for me, I've kind of created my own process in Notion. And I've talked about that a lot on this channel. So make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon because I'm often sharing my tips and techniques and some of the things that I'm working on uh, within Notion and the other applications that I utilize as well. So within Notion, I've kind of built out my own process for managing client projects, for managing personal projects, for having tasks set up and making sure that all of those kind of interconnect so that I know where I'm at. Challenges that I had with task management apps is that the tasks and their completed status was in that app and it didn't tie into communications that I had with clients or communications that I had with other people or things that I needed in order to complete those tasks. And then the problem with a paper task list is that a lot of times you filled out that page and you're a couple pages down and how are you gonna reference back easily to that page? It becomes kind of a mess and you're always flipping pages. And for me, that was a stressor. So I needed to get rid of that. And in Notion, I'm able to have my projects, have my tasks, I have my interactions calendar, and then of course all of those things can tie together and I can also associate notes to them as well. And it does seem like a lot, but now that I have it all put together, it's become something very powerful for me and I'm able to get a lot of tasks done. So choosing a good task manager will definitely depend on what you're looking for. If you're trying to limit technology, paper is gonna be the best option for you. If you want something that is clean and simple and easy to get in and out of that is technology based, a task manager or a reminder app or something like that might be perfect for you. If you need something that is a little more integrated that acts more as a second brain so that you can keep track of everything and not necessarily have to remember where everything is at because you've tied everything together and you have the processes and the conversations all there, then maybe something like a project manager or even Notion is something that you should look into. So I hope that this helped you kind of identify three different types of task management systems that you can implement. Something from as simple as a checklist all the way down to something more involved like a fully built out system in Notion or a turnkey solution like Trello or Asana. So if you have any questions or any thoughts, I'd love to hear them and interact with you down in the comment section below. Like I said before, I'm putting out content whenever I think that there's something interesting that I wanna share. So make sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell next to it to be notified when I do put out new videos. I also have some links and resources for you down in the description below, but that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much for being here and I hope to see you back in the next one.